what's up guys it's your boy Hein here and today I'm going to be showing you some uh, some of the new updates in CSGO that was just yesterday so there's three guns in the ground and probably the most opiest gun that I'm going to try right now is the Tech 9 and you will see in a second how good the bullet spread is look how straight the bullets go into the head it used to suck really bad but now look at look at that the bullet spread is really really good so if we go back and we actually move back and forth it looks way better than freaking most like the AK is worse than that so that's a really OP gun and I've seen everybody using it for pistol rounds and eco rounds so that's probably gonna be used in a competitive unless they nerf it which they probably will no doubt they're gonna nerf it so there's two more guns to go the CZ and the Desert Eagle so we're gonna throw this away there we go and we're gonna pick up the CZ. Now this is for the CTs, a little buff for the CTs. So it is semi-automatic, I believe. And we're gonna see in a second how good it is. I mean, the first couple shots are just straightforward into the head. So it's only 12 bullets, I'm shooting a lot. So that could change the performance. But anyway, that is a pretty good bullet spread for this gun. And it gives the counter-terrorist something to use against the terrorist when the terrorist is using the Tech-9. So throw that away. And the last gun is going to be the Desert Eagle. Probably a big change for everybody because Desert Eagle used to be really bad. So now we're going to try it out. So it's pretty it's pretty damn accurate. It used to be flying all over the place like that. But now it's uh, pretty accurate as you can see. Even moving around, it gets in the head area, which is guaranteed a headshot at one point. Maybe one little off there. But it's pretty good. So even moving around, close range, far range is uh, decent. So that's done with that. So we're going to move on to the map Inferno to talk about the updates there. So I'll catch you guys there. So what's up, guys? We're on the interface. Though she looks really sexy and I like it. So yeah. So I'm just going to pick terrorists and we're going to remove the bots because we don't like them. I don't like bots. So some of the changes that they added in the terrorist spawn that you can already tell is they added a freaking chicken coop. Look at this thing. Who would not want this in the spawn? That is amazing. It just brings a whole new revolution to the spawn. They even added a little fence. And as you could hear, there's some music. I don't know where it's coming from, but... You can hear some soft music coming from the background with a chicken coop. A freaking chicken coop in the spawn. That's amazing. And also, speaking of chickens, they added 12 chickens instead of 10. So that means two more chickens to go in the coop. So if we walk outside right now, we can probably find a chicken. And voila, you found a chicken. What's up, buddy? So now... So now we're going to go to Banana, and they actually, they added flowers, but they to compensate for that, they removed banana flowers. To compensate for remove, oh yeah, I just said that. I meant to say they added flowers to compensate for banana, removing the flowers that there. So there's flowers everywhere, and there's also a growling dog that used to be here that used to growl, but now there's not. And some graphical changes is this door right here is open you so you can use your imagination and people can see that it is an actual house possibly so no more growling dog right there and also there is some pillar changes I don't think that's one but there's some pillar changes in mid you can shoot through some box in mid I forgot what, I, I don't know which one it was but there's some changes there so that's gonna about wrap up our little CSGO patch talk so I will catch you guys later so high in out Peace.